Right, so what's up painting fans? Uh, today we're going to do a watercolour. It's going to be on a water-based theme, loosely based on Topsham. Um, for years I lived there when I first came to Devon and uh, loved the river, loved boats, basically just enjoyed the whole subject. And um, I've done various paintings of the sea and of the estuary before, um, but I thought today I'd try and make a video of it. And um, during the coronavirus lockdown, it'd be great to actually be there, but I'm not. Um, so it's a studio version based on various bits of reference I've picked up in the past. Um, watercolour, always tricky, um, but it's perfectly suited for water-based themes and for atmosphere. Um, but things can go wrong. So let's see how it goes and I hope you enjoy the video. So I've worked out the composition in my sketchbook beforehand, um, doing a few thumbnail sketches. And I've transferred this onto watercolour paper, which is pretty stretched. Um, I've drawn it in using a water soluble watercolour pencil and um, then working wet on wet, establishing the first washes with um, an overall yellowy, yellow ochre wash and then working over with greys wet into wet, um, knowing that it should fade a fair bit and so working fairly dark at first. I've no real idea how this is going to look just a bit of an idea how I want it to look and what the atmosphere wants to be. It's a kind of busy, slightly windy um, scene of a couple of boats turning around, about to set sail. They're just working under motor. There's a bit of fumes coming out of their outboards and um, typical of the sort of scene you might see on the River X in Topsham, really. So a lot of the background is uh, had its first wash and I'm working on the boats a little now just to get some of the centre of focus worked up. Um, this, the water actually dried a lot darker than I thought it would and um, so I shall use some white watercolour over the top of that just to lighten certain areas. Um, really I want to I want the centre of focus, i.e. the boat with the chap in it, to have light on it uh, and to be the main area of movement, focus and light uh, and thus contrast as well. And um, so here you can see my setup, I'm just using a rigger there. Unfortunately I left my rigger wet lying down so it's got slightly bent hair so I've straightened it out since. Um, so I've got the smoking, got the masts in and some of the white watercolour now just going on there to um, define the smoke coming out of the um, outboard, giving it a bit of drama, a bit of movement and more atmosphere really. Um, sometimes I stand up when I'm working, sometimes I sit down, it depends what I'm doing really. And uh, I'm just developing the boat, developing the background, putting some more colour into it to uh, suggest boats and buildings and um, various other things. It still needs quite a lot of work at this stage and um, it's just deciding what to do. Um, I forgot to film a little bit there so it's leapt forward a bit and um, I've added various details in the water there, some little bits of reflection. It's not quite as glassy as I wanted it, the water, but it's actually got quite a bit of movement in it. So here's the finished item and I hope you enjoyed the video and please like and subscribe and um, recommend my channel to your friends and uh, we'll try something else soon. I hope you enjoyed the video.